Welcome to Wolf GMC Buick. Today we're going to be taking a look at a used 2019 Volvo XC90 inscription. Ice white paint with a black interior. Under the hood you have a 2 liter turbo paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission. Some features you can expect to find include heated and cooling seats with a heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, power sunroof, heads up display and so much more. Let's go take a look. First, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the interior. You have that black finish on the door panel with the wood grain accents. Also along the front of the vehicle on the dash, the center console and the seats. Storage on the bottom of the door panel, power windows, mirrors and locks as well as memory settings for the driver's seat and mirrors. On the panel next to the steering wheel, you'll find some interior lighting controls and your power lift gate, as well as a small storage compartment here. Black leather bucket seats with the inscription etching on the top on the headrest and power controls with lumbar support located on the side. Stepping inside the vehicle, on the left hand side of the steering wheel you have your cruise control settings with gap adjusts here. On the right you have your voice recognition as well as directional controls to control the entertainment screen in the center here. The information display in front of you has a built-in navigation at the front right in the center next to your speedometer. Entertainment screen in the center has your audio. This will be your AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio. You have a list of channels that you can scroll through there. And along the bottom, you'll have your climate control settings here. You can just tap on any one of these. This will bring up your heated steering wheel and your heated cooling seats. Same with the passenger on this side. And you can just tap in the middle to bring up the entire climate control system. Fan speed along the bottom, you can choose which fans you would like to activate by pressing that. At the top here, you can see the main climate for the front of the vehicle and the rear climate there. You can just adjust that however you choose. Just below, there's a button here that brings you back to the home screen. You can swipe left. This is for all of your features for the vehicle that you can turn on and off. This will have your park assist, forward collision alert, lane keep assist. Uh, you can see a plenty of others there as well. Heads up display adjustments. And if you swipe to the right, you'll find more settings where you can get to your radio as well as the Bluetooth and several others that you can see along the bottom there. Just below the screen, you'll find a few more radio controls. You can see a few other controls here as well. At the front, you have a small storage compartment with a cover, so you can cover that for privacy. You also have a covered storage compartment on the right-hand side. We can go ahead and open that up. Dual cup holder, small storage compartment, and a 12-volt outlet for you to use twist to start engine right here so you would just turn this knob one direction that'll turn it on and off several different driving modes electronic parking brake and auto start and stop will be there we'll open up the center console lots of room inside for anything you might need a couple outlets on the right and an led lamp so you can see in the dark up top you have your rear view mirror with a built-in compass you have power controls for the sunroof and some interior lighting controls at the top here. This vehicle doesn't have a glove box at the front, unfortunately. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the exterior. You have the ice white paint, chrome Volvo logo in the center of the grille, chrome accents around, LED headlamps, aluminum wheels with the Volvo logo in the center, Paint matched mirror caps with your integrated turn signals. Paint matched and chrome accents on the door handles with keyless entry. You have the chrome accent along the side. Further look at the back, you have the chrome Volvo in the center, XC90 and T6 on either corner. You can use the power lift gate controls on the key to open the lift gate. Smaller storage compartment in the back here. You have the power controls here as well smaller storage compartments on either side. You can also use the shoulder handles to push the seat forward to give you even more storage space in the back. And when you're all done, you can use the power controls on the bottom of the lift gate, the controls on the key, or at the front of the vehicle to close the lift gate. And finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior in the rear. You have the same black and wood grain finish in the back as you had in the front. Storage compartment on the bottom of the door panel, magazine holders on the backs of the seats. The same black leather seating that you had in the front, the center folds down for cup holders for your rear passengers. You have access to that shoulder handle here that you can pull forward, giving you access to the third row seating, which has their own cup holder in the back on either side. Seat folds back 
just as easily. On the back of the center console, you will find the climate control for the rear, as well as the heated seat controls. You can see a few more outlets down here for the rear passengers to use. Thanks so much for joining me as we took a look at AU's 2019 Volvo XC90 inscription. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos just like this one, and we hope to see you in the near future.